YouTube, what's going on? Rack 718 back with another video. A little bit of a different location, as you can see. I got some uh, home renovations going on in the house, so I had to. We had to put a couple, couple things from a couple rooms into one room while the uh, the contractors uh, did what they had to do. So. I'll be here probably for a little while to making videos here, but I want to share a quick haul with you. I uh, went to this one particular Comic Con, and uh, it was middle of nowhere. I'm, I might have drove like an hour or so north, and all I remember is seeing cows and sheep and horses and stuff. And I was like, wow. Um, there was only one dealer come come to find out. The rest were just cards and collectibles and stuff like that. But there was just one comic book dealer. And uh, this is what I found. I found uh, he had like maybe 10 or 15 uh, long boxes of uh, of uh, dollar bins. And then he maybe had like six or eight short boxes of uh, books priced as marked. So I got two books, uh, key books priced as marked, which I'll show you at the end. But these are the dollar books I find. Check this out. So this Moon Knight... What is this? Moon Knight number one, I believe. Yeah, Moon Knight number one. It has a sticker even here, too. And it's signed by uh, Finch, it looks like. Uh, so, Spidey fan, if you're out there, um, let me know what you think about that signature. I mean, pretty cool silver pen or what have you. Um, even though I said $15, like I said, this was a dollar and a dollar bin. So, that was a pretty cool find. Um, these were... I'm trying to complete this run. This is a short run, five issue mini series of this Illuminati. I have one and two, but surprisingly, uh, this this particular dealer had three, four, and five. So I thought that was cool. Um, I still think the money book is that New Avengers uh, was a three or four first appearance of Illuminati, but this is the mini series. So I'll be interesting to see. Uh, when I read this, what actually happens here. So I just want to get that short run uh, together for the PC. Now this, Marvel, like if you watched uh, my other videos, I'm trying to get this run here. It's a six issue mini series. And um, I believe I have this issue already. I just picked it anyway. It's in a beautiful Mylar bag. So I thought I'd get it for that at least. And the condition of this particular comic might be better than the condition that I have already. This is Marvel number one. Had a ten dollar sticker on it. Probably is worth about ten dollars. Um, but I thought I'd pick it up anyway for a dollar. West Coast Adventures 45 newsstand. I probably sold all these back in the day when the hype was um, big on this particular issue. Uh, first appearance of the White Vision. So glad to have this coming back in the PC. Um, definitely a key book. You never know what could happen with this character and the uh, the series coming out here pretty soon on Disney+. Plus. Uh, Spider-Man Unlimited Maximum Carnage, the first issue. Uh, first appearance of Shrek. I think nine-eighths of this particular comic are going for like 100, 125. Um, this looks like in high grade. I think I have a copy already, but definitely wanted to add more to the PC. So I picked that up. Not bad. Now, this is the first appearance of Vengeance, um, Spirits of Vengeance number nine. So this was getting some some hype recently, and I believe I have a few copies already, even newsstand copies. So this is just a regular direct edition. But wherever you can pick up, you know, minor keys or key books and multiple copies, you definitely want to, in my opinion. Um, you definitely don't want to lose your last copy. At least that's how I think about it. So I picked up another copy of that. And I got 21 as well. Because I believe this is the first appearance of this character as a police officer or something like that. Um, so it goes well together. And I, in this particular dealer, I had a couple copies of that. Um, there is a newsstand copy of this. I believe I have that as well. But um, a couple extra copies I added to the PC there. Now this Gambit, 
Um, this Gambit is a four issue mini series and he didn't have number one, but he had number two. He had number three, as you can see, and number four, just beautiful high grade copies. Um, I mean, pro the set probably goes for 10, 15, 20 dollars. But if you compare it with the annual or pair it with that um, X-Men Origins, that, that purple, reddish, pinkish cover of uh, Gambit. I mean, if you can pair with any other key of Gambit, you know, this this can definitely do do well for you. So anytime I can pick up this series, uh, this particular Gambit mini series, I'll definitely pick it up in the dollar bin. Um, Doctor Strange 44, I think nine eights for this is maybe a good hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars. Um, it's the first appearance of Sidorak, I believe. Uh, I can't recall exactly, but I knew just looking at the cover, I knew um, it was somewhat of a minor key issue. I believe I have one or two or three copies of this. Um, but again, just picking up uh, some extra copies. Uh, now this Daredevil 197, I believe I got rid of, I, I traded or sold my copy. This goes well with the X-Men, is it 266? First appearance of, um, is it Psylocke? Uh, yeah, first appearance of, uh, of an X-Men character, but this is the first appearance in the human form of this particular character. So, um thought i picked this up this is a good 60 cent what is this bronze age copper age uh, comic book so that was all i found in the dollar bin and the dealer gave me a good deal that was a good what uh, 12 13 14 comics right there for a dollar and then this is what i found in the in the key the key short boxes he had this marvel point number one this first uh one of the one of like three or four comics out there with the first appearance of this Kamala Khan character. He had a price tag of twenty five, I believe. I mean, nine eighths of this is like five hundred dollars, I believe, and a raw near mint copy is like over a hundred. Um, last I checked, so I kind of knew that twenty five was a was a good price. And then he had a beautiful near mint copy. Of this Marvel Spotlight 32 for $75. Um, I thought I thought that was a good price. I mean, I think it goes for a little bit higher in this condition. So for everything, he charged me $90, and um, I really, uh, you know, was was happy with that. Um, you know all i said was what can you do with this and 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 you know he didn't you know have to oblige but i mean he he definitely gave me a deal he was tra definitely trying to make some sales at that con he was the only dealer i think maybe one or two people were digging with me at the time but definitely glad to pick this up i mean this is probably like my fourth raw copy of this uh, i do have a 9a copy but i just picked this up um, just to pick it up and then I don't have this anymore. I remember Finding these this particular Marvel point. I, I remember finding these in the dollar bin back in the day I might have had like two or three copies. I found a dollar bin and kind of Sold or traded them both or, or all of them already. So Glad to pick that back up, but that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and um, definitely leave a comment if you could. I mean, just some beautiful comics I found in um, at this Comic-Con that I normally don't go to or never been to. I'm a little bit out of the way, but uh, I think I had fun. It was definitely good to meet some new people. But um, yeah, share your thoughts. You know, Let me know what you're finding at the Comic-Con or if any of these books caught your eye and, and you know, if you're looking for them, you know, let me know what you're finding out there. All right, YouTube, thanks as always. Uh, collect what you want to collect, but please take care of those comics and I'll talk to you later.